in my time zone when my mind's gone and I'm flying home and I'm stressed out and I'm tempted to get that style phone and go pull it up but you know what's up and you know that ain't gonna solve nothing I mean Lord forbid I might fall asleep I'm excited y'all God is doing a greater work yesterday was a tough day y'all I'm gonna have to post that vid um because I gotta show the good and the bad and I love y'all it's aqua season drop some waves because you know we wavy shout some waves for the aquas my birthday is february the 12th so drop some drinks for your girl it's my birthday coming up real real soon so anyway god is blowing my mind and y'all what the enemy meant for evil god has worked for my good my father has literally just converted my workspace to my workspace period and i'm just excited y'all because god is good and um just look at what he's doing y'all like <laughs> i love my father he loves me anchor in him y'all anchor this is my first desk so many visions I literally had no idea that God was preparing <sighs> preparing a place for me, y'all. I was so distraught yesterday, and God told me, don't worry. I was so distraught because I just lost my job, and I didn't know what God was doing in this season. I was confused, and... Man, literally, hand me my book, Bryce. Right there. Literally, y'all, as I was in my quiet time, the other one, baby, in my quiet time this morning, shout out to TC Nation, y'all. Let me slow down, because I'm doing a Happy. lot right now. Shout out to TC Nation, Transformation. I love you, Pastor Michael. Pastor Mike Jr., I love you as well at Rock City Church. So what we are doing um, is video blogging this season because God is truly blowing our mind. And I'm going to have to show y'all the video I recorded yesterday because I had the real ugly cry face. Like, <laughs> like, it was crazy. But, man, God is just really showing out. And in my quiet time with him today, I told you guys that I'm going like a day behind. So today for me is stewardship. And what are we anchoring in God for? What are we trusting in him for stewardship? And literally he took me to, you know, if you about my business and you seek me, you don't have to worry about anything. Like I got you. I'm the conductor. I am your leader. Follow me. I am your Lord. I will guide you. And so, literally in that time, um, I was sitting at my desk, y'all. And I just feel so much power here. The anointing is truly at this desk. I even think about the prophet Elijah when his... <clears throat> <clears throat> the enemy don't want me to say it, but I would say it. Hold on. He don't want me to say it, but I'm going to say it. All right, y'all. So I think about the prophet Elijah when he went to his friend's house. And they loved him so much that they prepared a room for him. Shout out to Pastor Tim Ross. And literally in that room, it was a bed. It was a chair. <coughs> the enemy don't want me to profess God's goodness, but I'm going to profess it. There was a bed. There was a chair. There was a desk. And guys, it is so much power at this desk. Literally before I started film school, my ear itching. So Holy Spirit, speak through me. So literally before I started film school, y'all ignore my son. He, they, love Michael. So before I started film school, so before I started film school, y'all, um, God literally just told me to get up. Like, one night, he was like, get up. 
go to the desk. This is when I had first got my work from home job and I had to get a desk. Like I had to get a desk for the job. And so I got the desk, got this chair and he was like, get up, go to that desk. All I had was my work laptop. I didn't have no HP, no 3P, definitely not no MacBook. I, I didn't even have a big Mac. I might've had a big Mac. I ain't going to do it like that, but I showed it had no MacBook. And literally, God said, get up, go to that desk. And he had me to open up Microsoft Word, and he said, this is what you're going to be doing. <laughs> and literally, y'all, I got the news sometime later that I was accepted into the L.A. Film School, which really shocked me. Like, that shook me. Like, I wasn't even sure. I was like, wait a minute. And literally, y'all, uh, today, as I sat at my desk, I did my quiet time at my desk. Um, This is what the Lord said to me. So first he told me, um, as I was reading today, and it may be in Philippians. I'm going to get back to y'all on that script. Pray for your girl. But he said to think about the good things. Think about the good things always. Don't be anxious or worry about anything of today. Slow down. And let me guide you. Example. Bright and walking, which was such a pathetic statement, y'all. Um, and the best thing it is, I'm a preacher too. Hallelujah. This is the prophet Brayden. He is certainly a preacher. God's anointing is on this baby. Shout out to Apostle Mary D. Lawrence. When I was wayward in this world, she touched my stomach and turned my baby around. Turned him around in my womb. Because I was putting the praise on it. He was putting the praise on it in my belly. And I believe from that moment, child, that the anointing came over him. And he was just chosen for the womb. And a favorable plot twist. So, God literally told me, stay at your desk a lot because here is where I'll speak to you throughout the day. Hallelujah! And he said, just like when you used to write poetry at the desk, you are my child, I love you, and I got you. Seek me first. Is that room clean? So, y'all, okay, cut that light off. I'm so sorry, y'all. Simple talk, listen. I just really had to get on and come to y'all because this is real deal, y'all. The enemy comes to steal, kill, rob, and destroy. But God says, I am come. I am. I came to give life more abundantly and in a time where the enemy tried to have my head yesterday and had me thinking that my Lord wasn't going to come through, that my Lord wasn't going to do this. God said that I am the supplier to the sower. And anyone that seeds will reap a harvest, period. And I just trust my father. Um, I know I'm a lot all over the place, but I really just wanted to show y'all my days. And just so excited, y'all, like about this. Just got me, it's hitting down in my shana, and I'm so thankful, um, even with this that you guys see here, um, God is just so good, y'all, like, God is, he's faithful, and I'm just excited to really be on this journey with y'all, because, man, here is truly holy, shout out to Pastor Mike Todd. But there's power, y'all. Don't let the enemy steal nothing because his job is to rob, kill, and destroy, to run a time out on you, to have you sitting in bed crying, thinking, how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to do that, how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to do that. What God spoke over your life is so, and it shall come to pass. We serve a God that does not lie, and I love him, and I just got to give the glory. <clears throat> so I'm going to post that crying video at the end of this video because y'all got to see that, yo. Like, I got to be transparent, hot, humble, open, and transparent. And, man, yesterday did not look like this today. And what I won't do is misguide you guys and have y'all thinking that, you know what I'm saying, that the desert 
isn't for development because it is. But can you stand the humility? Speak life always. Stay rooted in your Bible always because the enemy just wants to distract you. And I'm excited to be at this desk, y'all. I feel the anointing. I believe that God is going to fulfill every single thing that he spoke. He is so good. And I love y'all. Y'all are my people. Shout out to TC Nation. Stand up. Legacy Leadership. Stand up. It's your girl, Billy, with a true confessional. Yeah. Today has been a tough one. The enemy is just really trying to just psych me out and just have me down with God. So y'all, I've been just in the desert with my father going through so much. Even before I came to the desert, it was a lot with my son and just everything. <laughs> <laughs> so I just got fired yesterday from my job for breaking my laptop and the enemy just <laughs> they confusing me and trying to make me think that God is mad at me and that this is a punishment and that I'm going to lose everything and I know it was wrong to make my laptop. I know it was wrong. <laughs> Everything with the relationship that I was in. And they just ended in. Most of this stuff is my own fault. Because the Lord told me to stop calling him. And I keep calling him. Every time I call, I just get depressed and depressed. Like, even to the point. I'm looking at my pictures, like, looking at myself in disgust. <laughs> it's almost time to get my kids. I got to get myself together. Uh, Y'all just pray for me. You by yourself. The enemy, man. I just try to whisper lies to you all day. So just. Uh, Oh, Jesus Christ. My God is greater. And he's not going to leave me in this circumstance. I'm going to get a new job. Me and my kids are not getting put out. Still going to get my car. Amen. Won't he make you?